court and prison records show Jose Rodriguez has lived a life of crime since his teens. Channel 2 investigates dug into his rap sheet. Investigator Mario Diaz joins us now live from the newsroom with more into his past. Mario? Dominique Rodriguez was sent to prison for 25 years, a mere six days after his 18th birthday. His life filled with crimes in and out of prison. Here in Houston, it all started in September 1989. The Harris County incident says Rodriguez, then 17 years old, intentionally tried to commit the offense of aggravated sexual assault. He pulled down the complainant's pants and panties, but also states he failed with the offense intended. Also tied to that crime, the theft of the victim's automobile. Together, these, along with burglary of a habitation with intent to commit theft, earned Rodriguez sentences of 25, 20, and 10 years all to be served concurrently. Another crime, possession of a deadly weapon while in prison in 1992, earned Rodriguez another 10 years. Rodriguez completed his original 25-year sentence in 2014. He then begins serving 10 years on the weapons charge and completes a required sex offender treatment program. On September 29, 2017, Rodriguez was released in Dallas County under mandatory supervision. That's a state law that allows a release when an inmate's time served plus time off for good behavior equals their full sentence. Damage from Hurricane Harvey forced TDCJ to move Rodriguez to the halfway house in Dallas, but Rodriguez returned to Houston last December where he stayed out of trouble according to TDCJ records until investigators say he removed his ankle monitor on July the 5th. A TDCJ spokesperson says the way Rodriguez moved through the system and how his release was handled did not raise any red flags. Live in the newsroom, Mario Diaz, KPRC Channel 2 News.